Hello YouTube, today we're going to take a look at the new Ocean KG UV8D. This model is meant to be the direct replacement for the very famous and popular UV6D. Let's first go into the box and have a look what comes with this radio. Okay, so when you open the box, you soon see the radio, the battery, the antenna, uh, desktop charger, belt clip, and in this case, we have the UK three pin plug that comes with this model. Now it's worth mentioning that uh, it's not a slide on plastic um, belt clip, or it is a plastic belt clip, but you do need to um, use the two screws that uh, come with the radio to secure that to the back. And that's the difference to the UV60 model. And then you also get a fairly well written English uh, user's instruction manual now the biggest difference to the older Ocean models um, will be the large display screen. Now the buttons are logically laid out at the bottom half of the radio. Uh, menu button is orange, microphone is here on the right, and you have your AB band selection switch, exit VFO memory mode, and pretty standard keypad, there's nothing special. Uh, you have four keys on the left hand side of the radio, so the top one there you can pre kind of program what these keys are on the back of the radio. Uh, and again, I mentioned earlier you will need to screw the belt clip onto the back. Here is where you can put a little lanyard, uh, there's a little gap there for you. And the speaker microphone jack, let me open this first. It's the same. Um, fitting as your other models of Ocean and Balfong, so the programming cable shouldn't be an issue. Now on top of the radio you have two dials, one's on and off, the other one is the channel and VFO selection switch and you also have the uh, torch left on top, so that's very similar to the other models. Now the antenna is worth mentioning because it's rather long antenna it's a lot taller the whole radio is a lot taller this is an sma male antenna that screws onto the top of the radio let's just take a look at the battery now on the back of the radio so turn to take the battery out the bottom of the radio you have a little catch push it down slide it off here we can see it's a UV8D model, 136 to 174, and a 400 to 480, and uh, it's got a CE marker on there. Right, the battery, the capacity of the battery is uh, 1700 milliamp hours, and uh, a 7.4 volt lithium ion battery pack. Now this is a, a redesigned battery. Uh, the older models of Oceans won't be able to share the battery with this one. But you can get battery eliminators and um, battery cases with this model. Channel. Now keep an eye out on the handyradio.co.uk website. You should be able to see the accessories that are coming out with this radio very soon. In terms of functionality of this UV8D model, it's um, pretty similar to the UV60. And also it does crossband uh, UHF VHF repeater, and um, it, yeah, it's um, it's worth um, just having a look on the website. And I'll be listing the the full functions on the website. But um, for the video, let's focus on the very interesting display screen. Channel mode one. As you can see, I have actually put um, a few channels there. And on the on the radio already, and the first one being the nine, nine, one. the local repeater. Now, if you hear that nine nine one, that means the total number of memory channels on this UV eight D is um, just under a thousand. So a lot more than the UV sixty and other models. What I'll do next is um, I'll go into the menus um, screen and I'll just slowly. Turn the dial so you can see what menus uh, options are available on this model. So first one, step, SQL, that's squelch level, uh, power saving, transmit power, Roger beep, 
at the transmit turn over time, voice activation, narrow wideband selection, the voice guidance in Chinese and English. So beep, there's a lot of options. Busy channel lockout and uh, you know transmit and receive CTCSS, DCS. Uh, let me just keep going and then you should be able to get an idea of what it is. Now we're on menu number 19 and 21 so that's um, they have a lot more in the menu system than the UV60 so the repeater shift direction you have a, um, this one 25 is actually a stopwatch uh, renaming the channels saving memory deleting memory you can scan CTCSS and DCS of a frequency on this radio and ANI, ANI edit, DTMF functions, auto lock, a different alert, and that's number 42 now, so I'll keep going PTT ID, ringtone. Wow. I'm on number 50, so 51, reset, and I think that's the last one. That's right, so from 0, 01 to 51, that's how many, many options you're getting with the UV8D model. Now on this radio on the top, you can see the display is showing a frequency mode. Um, you can have a frequency mode on top and channel mode at the bottom. Mode. Or you can just by cycling through the VFO and memory button, you can have options for the display. You can either display channel name. Channel uh, this is what I program just by hand uh, on the keypad. Uh, you can do that quite easily. Uh, so you don't have to get a computer programming software to be able to write a channel name frequency uh, and frequency mode. So it doesn't really just switch between memory and frequency. It goes through a different display setting. So channel, channel uh, the channel number. Channel uh, this is frequency and channel. channel mode. And this one shows you just the name and the number mode. and going back onto frequency. So in frequency mode, uh, Four, three, three, zero, zero, zero. so again, it's very simple to just enter your frequency there. If you wanted to go onto the, the B band, you can see the, the the little icon here on the right hand side goes from the top to the bottom and it says main so whichever one this is on it's going to be the main channel. Another big improvement on this UV8 is going to be the simultaneous receive function for channels A and B so you can um, get two frequencies or two channels and you can receive the um, audio at the same time which is very different to a lot of the low-end uh, Chinese radios and this has got that which is very nice. Like I said earlier the side keys all do different things the top one is the alarm button so you press that you transmit on the the main channels and the one just below the PTT uh -huh, is the torch so there you have it and if you press and hold it that opens a squelch so you should get a green light a green light showing so that's our receiving and the bottom one is the FM radio so I'll just have a look at the screen right okay so to summarize then do I like this radio yes I do I think it's um uh, it's ocean has made a lot of improvements I wouldn't um, buy this one purely because it's advertised to have full color display to be honest, a large display screen, it works well, but a colored one, you don't really see. If I bring this closer to the, the camera, as you can see, there's not many colors actually to choose from. You know, now the step is in blue and the channel's in black, but the size of the display screen is rather nice. 
In terms of the performance as a radio, it's very good, as you'd expect from Ocean. The sound quality, the speaker is quite loud, which is just here in, in, on the front. Okay, so is there anything I don't like about this radio? Personally, I think the antenna is far too long. So if you just pan this to the right, you can see. Um, yeah, I, I personally, I don't like the length of the antenna, but it does work well. Uh, another thing I don't like is on the packaging and in the instructions manual, I couldn't find the IP55 waterproof um, writing anywhere. It may be an obvious error that I've missed it, but um, to be honest, I, I wasn't using my UV60 in the rain or in the water uh, kind of wet condition anyway. So it's not going to be a concern, but it's just knowing that uh, Ocean is not advertising this as a splash proof or waterproof radio. Another of my concern is the battery consumption and it doesn't seem to last a very well as well as the Baofeng radios and um, mainly due to the display screen in my opinion um, on one charge you will get maybe for what I use a couple of days of um, receive and the occasional transmit um, so like I said a few days um, but I turn the brightness of the display screen down when I don't need it and uh, yeah, just, just doing what you can to, to preserve the power. And another thing you can do is get a spare battery, which is available, or getting the eliminator if you're using this in the car. So I hope you've gained an overview of this brand new model from Ocean, the KG UV8D. And I will be carry on using this, uh, this actual radio. And uh, I'll also be trying to program this via computer programming. Sometimes I will be going out when the weather is nice to do some range testing and hopefully this radio will be the next one.